If you are barren, you don't have a child, you've been praying and waiting on God for a miracle. Please, while you are doing that, go and adopt a child. Your adopting a child is not a contradiction to your faith. And it does not mean that if God wants to bless you with a child, he will not bless you. It's not everybody that may necessarily give birth to you while here on earth. Let's not lose that heaven. Let's not reduce everything, you know, materially. You know, there was a time that um, deliverance, family deliverance was the holy grail of prosperity. They say many of us were poor in Nigeria because of family evil foundation. Many people did um, family deliverance now so that there will be no more poverty. Go and ask them how far. We know they hear about family deliverance that it has subsided. When you do that, you will be reduced to doing everything, like I said, for material reward. That is not the panacea for our social, political, and economic problem. It's not. You don't solve. In fact, listen. Listen very well. Oh, God. The country that pays only tight and not tax will never prosper more than the countries that pay tax. Write it down. Countries where people pay only tight, or I don't know the Muslim equivalent of it, they can never be prosperous more than countries where they pay tax. More people pay tight in Nigeria than they pay tax, both in uh, Christianity and uh, Islam. See where we are. Poverty, capital of the world. It affects also Christians. If you go through the whole of the New Testament, tight was mentioned, I think, in Hebrews passing and in Matthew in passing. But tax, I have come to Romans chapter 13. From verse 1, it says, Everyone is to obey the governing authorities because there is no authority except from God. And so whatever authorities exist are made by God. So anyone who disobeys an authority is rebelling against God's ordinance. And all of that, it talks about magistrates and uh, all that. Then in verse 6, he says, And this is why you should pay taxes too. Because the authorities are all serving God as his agents. And this is why you should pay taxes too. There is an express command of paying tax in the Bible than tithes in the New Testament. Pay tax, hold your government responsible. Countries like Denmark, all the first world countries, there are countries that pay taxes and their government use their taxes. They are much better than those places where you pay tithes and they are building uh, heavy, heavy religious worship centers and stuff um, like that. A country that still sponsors people to pilgrimage. People are going to pilgrimage in Israel and Saudi Arabia. Carry the money you should have used to build hospitals and schools. You know, Nigeria, everything in Nigeria is not good. Uh, because everything in Nigeria, the God in Nigeria is a uh, local God, like local rice. There is too much sand and stone on it. Is the God in Jerusalem and the one in Saudi Arabia. We will not have sense. Even Christians who are educated are expecting to have sense. Christians should, can should tell federal government stop sponsoring Christians for pilgrimage. We don't want that millions, hundreds of millions of naira they use for pilgrimage. They should give us that. Let us use it and build hospitals where Christians can be having free medical checkup. If they want to be giving our Muslim brothers to be going to Saudi Arabia, let them give them their own. But for our Christian pilgrimage is supposed to be an individual thing. If you have the money and you want to go, you go. Government is foolish to be using money for infrastructure. Not even rich countries sponsor their people for pilgrimage. And here we are so religious that, how, do you know how much they use for pilgrimages? If they tell you how much they use for pilgrimages, you weep. And what is the pilgrimage? You will go to Jerusalem. And so you go there, God will come down. Jesus will now come afresh, you will see him. And the God you are going to see there is not the God that we are serving here. Who do all these things, self? In a country where you have no... See, can should wake up, make an agreement with the government. That money for pilgrimage, since you don't want to stop it, give us our own. And it should be transparently used to build either hospital or schools. Can is made up of different blocks. They can share how people can benefit from it. God is here. Mount Zion. I know they go anywhere. He is here. 